What's going on everyone? It's Sam and this is another episode of Pear. Alright, so on today's episode we are going to be pairing the new El Maestro from William Ventura paired with the Double Rye from High West. A couple things that's interesting about this, it is a blended rye. So it's actually using two ryes, one that is sourced from High West, um, and it's actually known for its botanical quality. So it's similar to gin, if you will. And then the other half of it is actually distilled by High West. It is a very unique tasting rye. And as soon as I smoked this El Maestro and had some of this, it was, it was perfect. I was actually wildly surprised. Um, how nicely everything worked together. So first off, the El Maestro, it is, this is the natural blend and this is the Elegante. So this is going to be the Churchill Vitola. And it is got a Habano wrapper. Unfortunately, we don't know much more than that. Uh, a Sumatran binder. Don't know if it's Indonesian or Ecuadorian. And then it has Dominican insides. If you know anything about William Ventura, he used to work for Davidoff as the production manager. Um, he was very important with Davidoff. He left Davidoff many years back, started Tabacalera William Ventura, and then he actually stepped aside and let his children run Tabacalera William Ventura, but now the time has come for his own cigar called El Maestro. It's a very sweet smelling cigar but it's not necessarily terribly sweet when you're actually smoking it, which I find quite enjoyable. There's actually quite a piney taste to this cigar right off the cold draw. It's very smoky right after lighting it. Uh, there's a lot of notes of pine. There's slight hints of sweetness, maybe like a vanilla. There's a lot of fresh cracked pepper lingering on the back after you exhale. You've got that definitive smoky Sumatran coming from the binder. And then the wrapper being a Habano, it's gonna have some spice to the wrapper. And that's definitely present with the black pepper, maybe even hints of sriracha, um, chilies, roasted chilies. It's mild, it's nothing too overpowering, but it's quite nice. All right. So next we've got the bourbon. Like I said, it is going to be the High West Double Rye. And how I go about picking the whiskey for this, I actually sit down with three different whiskeys. Usually for this pairing, I sat down with a rye. I sat down with an Isla Scotch. Then I also sat down with an Irish whiskey. And I started out with the Irish whiskey, went to the rye, then landed on the scotch. And as soon as I hit the rye, I already knew which one I was going to pick. These two pair so nicely together. Um, with the botanical notes of the rye, it just blends beautifully. There's notes of cinnamon on the whiskey. Some clove is present. Strangely enough, dark chocolate. And then there's just that lingering juniper berry. The two together, they just make for such a smoky overall experience. They mix together so well. Whereas when I mixed it with the Irish whiskey, there was so much more clove in the Irish whiskey that it almost started to bring clove out in the El Maestro Natural. And that note just isn't normally there. So it, it was just leaving a funky aftertaste. And the Isla Scotch was just way too completely out of the, the realm of an acceptable pairing. It did not work well. That being said, with the Isla not necessarily working with this cigar, I'm, I'm a huge fan of Isla. It's, it's coming. If you guys have a good cigar to pair with a nice Isla, um, like an art bag, anything of that nature, uh, please, please let me know in the comments. I'm searching for it. 
I hope somebody else out there is as well. But, you know, so today's pairing has been with the El Maestro Natural. There it is. And the Key West Double Rye. It blends really well. Give it a shot. See what you think. Let us know in the comments below. This is a new series that we're planning on doing. We really want to get you guys involved in the comments down below. We want to know what you think. We want to know what you're pairing your cigars with, whether it's a nice spirit, maybe a cup of coffee, even a, a carbonated beverage. This is Sam with Luxury Cigar Club, and this has been another episode of Paired. So get down there, drop some comments, and uh, this has been Sam with another episode.